Praying mantises are so named because of their pious looking posture. But these bugs are neither meek nor mild. They're voracious predators. This male mantis climbing up towards his potential mate can have little idea of the danger that he's in. Perhaps put off by the unwelcome advances of the male or simply driven by hunger, the female mantis begins to eat her suitor. Holding his upper body in her left claw, she starts to chew through his thorax. Until the two halves of his body are only held together by a thread of flesh. Eventually, his head drops away. Remarkably, this male isn't entirely dead. He's begun to impregnate her. The female has removed his head and with it the brain cells that control his inhibitions. But his abdomen has its own nerve cells. Cells that control the act of copulation and they allow him to pass on his genes even in the throes of death. In reproductive terms, this male has succeeded. But his death is a symbol of how strangely unfeeling the arthropod world can be.